There we go. <laughs> Forgive me. I haven't done this in a while. Am I am I in focus? Okay. All right. Let's do this. Yo, what's up guys? It's Keith here back again with Zim Review. So the thing that brought me here is first off the quarantine. Obviously, I hope you guys are quarantining well. Did I say that right? Quarantining well. Is that even a word? Um, yeah, it's crazy times we're living in right now. I mean, I've been in the house for at least a week. <sighs> So yeah, whilst I was in quarantine, there's been a lot of talk around this show called Mudiwa with Pamoyo. If you haven't watched it, stop this video right now. Go to the link in the description. Go watch Mudiwa with Pamoyo right now. And then come back, then we can talk about it. Um, yeah, Mudiwa with Pamoyo. I just want to get into that one and talk about why exactly people are talking about it so much. And why people love it and quite possibly why you love it. Let's get into it. So the first thing that I see people falling in love with is by no doubt the storyline. I mean, it's a love story. Who doesn't like a love story, right? I think for a lot of people, especially from Zimbabwe, my age, if you're like in your 20s and stuff, watching Mudiwa wa Pamoyo, there's a lot of nostalgia in the whole show. And I think that also ties into the storyline and what the whole show is basically about and why people are falling in love with the show in the first place. Being a love story means that this show basically can be relatable to anybody who's ever been in love. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? and because it's relatable a lot of people are gonna watch it they're gonna feel nostalgic they're gonna feel like the show is representing them you know that in itself makes people curious makes people pay more attention to what's really going on and they feel connected and they feel like you know this character represents me at a certain time in point in my life so basically with the storyline it's a great written show that's the first reason why you like it and then the other reasons why you love Mudio Pamoyo look at the show from a technical point of view this show basically checks all the necessary boxes for it to be in this tier that it is in right now and the first one sound design yes sound design is the process where you actually take the audio from the film and you basically design it to be exactly what you need it to be basically putting all the necessary sounds that should be in the show you don't have any unnecessary sound if I can take for example the um, Nigerian African movies that we all grew up watching. Hey, if you didn't grow up watching those, my team, I'm not, I'm not dish, I'm not dish TV. If you can look at uh, shows like that that we used to watch in, uh, back in the day, this time goes on, these movies did not age well. And I think part of that is because of the poor sound design. I mean, there's a lot of echoes, there's a lot of, you know, um, it just, it's it just like if somebody screams, the sound is right in your ear and then you just like, yo, you put the same volume, but you know, <laughs> in the other scene again, then you gotta, so, you know, it doesn't really age well, but when the sound is designed, perfectly even the feel of the show itself sounds right uh, you're not just watching something especially if you have your earphones on if you're not a tech video technical person you can't really describe it but you can notice the difference between a video that is sound design and a video that does not have sound design so the second thing that I want to talk about again is meaningful scenes just like sound design again you're not just throwing in any scene just because you know it's a great scene or maybe ah, it's a drone shot you say drone shot and that <laughs> you know just throwing scenes in there but every scene that you see in there of, or, or at least that I've seen are contributing to the whole storyline there's continuity of what you're seeing and what you've heard before or what you saw in the last episode is tying to all of that one of the scenes that I love is the scene with the ball that's being placed on the ground and then there's the foot right there it gives you this um, curiosity like okay what's gonna happen and, um, are they playing soccer? Okay, immediately it sets you up for the scenes that are gonna come up next. There isn't really any unnecessary footage that's thrown in there. So yeah, big thumbs up for me. In addition to necessary scenes that are in the show 
is the Easter eggs. What I mean by Easter eggs, this is when writers throw in something in the film that they don't talk about or they don't even mention or maybe it's mentioned in the first episode and then it appears in the other episode. One of the Easter eggs that were brilliantly placed is the rugby ball. If you hadn't caught that one, it's basically Noku saying that she prefers rugby to soccer. And then in the last episode, we saw this guy pulling up, it's Noku's ex and he has a rugby ball in his car and you know immediately people were like yo did you notice that and i was like damn yo this show is you know kind of giving me that game of thrones vibe where people coming up with their theories and stuff just because they saw something that was not confirmed so yeah um <laughs> i'm definitely happy to see you know a zimbabwean show with some easter eggs in there that's a really good quality of writing if somebody's gonna be writing something and then throwing in some easter eggs they're not playing they ain't here to play they're here to scoop all of your subs last but not least this is not anything technical but it's just respect i see a lot of respect put into the craft of this show i see a lot of respect for the audience that are going to be watching this show because this by a milestone it surpasses a lot of shows that have come out on youtube and you know they have great storylines and stuff like that but they are not as watchable as this show has proved to be with only six episodes a lot of people cannot i personally cannot wait for the next episode so i can talk about it with my cousins and friends you know what i'm saying by putting the respect into your craft i think as a creator you are also respecting whoever you're crafting that show for I mean you're respecting them to say that okay if I'm gonna be making a show for you I'm gonna tick all the boxes that I can I mean there isn't really many resources put into this show but it's a brilliant show shout out to the writer I'm not really sure of his name but his handle on Twitter is Derby better Derby underscore better I'm just gonna put it right there if you want to follow him or anything like that feel free to do so and yeah um, to you um, Derby underscore better thank you brother so once again my name is keith thank you for watching hey i almost dropped that so yeah um this is a um, special message to people who have um supported me throughout this channel and yeah i haven't been posting a lot of videos a lot has been happening in my life but yeah as you can see i'm all prepared it's now back to basics i'm basically filming from uh from my room once again no green screen i didn't even like that but <laughs> um yeah uh more episodes to come definitely and yeah i'm gonna tell you guys what i've been up to what's been going on in my life and yeah i'm excited to do this again very excited thank you for reaching to the end of this video because this message is exactly for you thank you thank you this is this is it getting awkward now let me let me go thank you thank you um um i'm a th thank you thank you <laughs>